Okay, so here in number 13, we have to find the measure of the red arc. And all you got to do is use this inscribed angle here. And since this vertex is on the circle, it's going to be half the measure of the arc. So that makes the arc 80 degrees. Now, someone asked, um, why isn't it, why is it 80? Can it be 95? Because wouldn't this angle, since this arc would be 90, this angle is also inscribed in that arc, so that would be 45, which would make this angle up here um, 45 plus 40 is 95, so this would be 85. So then that adjacent angle would be 95. So why wouldn't, why is this angle different from the arc it intercepts? And the answer to that question is we can't assume that this green point is the center of the circle. It definitely looks like the center of the circle. But only when you have like a point like given with like a like like a P, like that circle P, and you see chords go through it, then you can assume things like these are central angles. But if we look back at the original picture, this this picture doesn't give us enough information to assume that that's the center. So you have to use the inscribed angle to find that arc PS.